I feel like organizations can't exist without a brand, and so my work is especially meaningful in really helping companies and, and people with personal brands unlock the potential that is there in them. A book seemed to be a natural way for me to get that out there into the world and get it into the hands of lots and lots of people at a pretty low cost. One of the things that I never expected to happen that did happen with that first book was that it kind of launched me into this realm of being a thought leader. I'm on speed dial for lots of top tier media reporters. Uh, I am a regular contributor to publications like Fortune and Forbes and Inc. And now, as of yesterday, Salon has asked me to be a regular contributor. Previously, the speaking engagements that were available to me were in my industry only. Um, they were usually like local or regional. They were very often not paid opportunities. And, and now I'm getting paid anywhere from like five to $20,000 in value to speak at, at certain events. I travel all over the world and get paid to speak on big stages in front of my ideal customer two or three times a month, which is great because I get to go to cool locations that maybe I otherwise wouldn't get to go to, meet really interesting people. Um, I get lots of clients out of that, you know, nice referrals into my core business. out of the success of branding is sex and giving away that branding methodology, I've been able to build a workshop product where now I'm building an online sort of virtual learning course that goes with that and in-person workshops. And so it's opened up opportunities for new revenue streams. I enjoyed the process so much and it felt like it worked so well for me both times that I would go back and do it again and again and again. There's nothing that says that I should ever pursue any other method of writing a book.